Hi everyone, it's Helen, and welcome to my channel. Seems like forever since I've done a, a video. You know how it goes, life gets in the way. But I thought I'd show you a couple things that I've been working on that I'd share with you. And a while back I had made these journals. And I made about eight or nine of them at the same time. But inside of them, there's all different kinds of paper from just normal copy paper, colored paper, mixed media, uh, watercolor graph, you know, you get the idea. So I made all of these. And what I've been using them for are different things. I'll show you the one, uh, more recent one. And this is going to be my happy journal listen to your heart above all voices i find that a lot of the memories it's harder to remember the happy moments the things that are funny that made you smile so i've decided to make this journal and write in it happy things that have happened things that have made me laugh and while I'm working on other things, then I, I will come in and I will just add to this one. Here's a picture of the lake. So there's a couple pictures in there that I'll be putting in here, but they're not going to be in, in date order. I'm just going to random whatever page I decide to pick. For example, this one, uh, <laughs> we were putting new fishing line on our rods and so my husband was reeling them in and my job on the other side of the room was to hold the reel of a fishing line with a pen in it and hold it. So while he's reeling, I started flopping around like I was a fish. <laughs> At first he thought I was crazy, wondered what I was doing and then he figured out I was pretending I was a, a fish. But so I'd like to remember the, the fun things, the, so I thought I would make this journal. I'll go quite quickly in here. You get the idea, uh, with washi tape and stickers and stamps. And if so, if I'm working on something else and I just do a page, here's some extra paint and stamps, paint. Here's some lips I found in a magazine that <laughs> I thought should go there. I'm not quite sure. No rhyme or reason. Here's a picture of what I look, when I look out my living room window, this is my view that I have. And this was early morning coffee. We were sitting out on our deck and enjoying our morning coffee. And there was mist in the, in the trees. You can see these are all burnt. Where I live, they had a major forest fire. And that's how close it actually got to this house. We didn't live here at the time, but it was something, I guess. I'd gone to the lake and picked up some feathers, stuck them in there, pictures of the lake we live by. I did some coloring. This is a funny story. I was adding, I have a new garden spot. So on my garden spot, my husband had rototillered it or rotivated it, whatever you want to call it. And I was adding peat moss and, and adding uh, cow poop. And I seen this track. So he was over somewhere else in the yard and I asked him, I called him over and I was very careful not to um, push any dirt or anything over top of this, this track because I wanted to know what it was. And he looks at it and he goes, I've never seen one like that before. He says, I think it's a shoe. <laughs> I look at the bottom of my shoe and it's me. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a tracker. I found myself. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So I'll just flip through. Here's some pictures that I colored and cut out and just stuck in there. Extra scrapbooking paper. I think this was from a, a uh, calendar. And our Dollar Tree had some planner stickers. Leftovers from Canada Day. The Canada Day page in my uh, art journal. Stickers, vellum. I'm not sure I put this in other than the sound. It sounds really cool. Um, kind of hard to work with that one. But I do like the sound. I'll just flip through this very quickly. 
pictures from magazines. So you can pretty well stick anything. I had this envelope, so I decided to make it a pocket and an extra scrapbooking paper. So these are part of the extras. I like the chickens. They just happen to go with these flowers, I thought. And these little owls. Here's another owl. So, yeah. And I'm not quite done the very back cover. But, so this is my happy journal. I'll have happy thoughts in this one. And if I'm having ever having a blue day, then I just have to go through, through here and it'll bring up wonderful memories. I hope you decide to give this a try. So I was watching uh, YouTube and I watch, I subscribe to Crafty Hodges. And if you have the chance, you should check out her video. She's really good. And she suggests that she makes these journals out of magazines. So I thought I would make one too. Now, I started making, doing the backgrounds for them, much like I did the other journals. And I was using between scrapbook paper and calendar paper, I was using it in here. So I've done some in the front, I've done some in the back. Now these are about, what are they about? So four by eight and a half or something. Yeah, something like that. Um, if you go to her channel, and I'll give you the link below, if you go to her channel, she gives you instructions on how to do this. So I've gone, here's some sheet music, phone book. I've done some in the back. And some calendar. So yeah, it's pretty paper. And I'll be filling up the rest. But my point is this. <laughs> Okay, and why I don't ever get anything done. Why I have so many different projects on the go. So the paper that I got this from is 12 by 12. These aren't very big. So I have all this paper. Now what am I gonna do with that? Well, let me show you part two of what to do with your leftovers. Most of you have seen if you watch my videos, I have put this on. This is my collage glue book um, that I'm working on. And, well, I had extras. So I ripped them up and I glued them on a page and I added some paint. I like it. I like this color. So this is gonna be a background. Then, I still had some more of this leftover paint, so I decided to add more on this one. So these are off to the side drying. Well, then I thought I still have more, so how about if I do a page, a background page in my Dilutions journal? These ones are bigger pieces and I used more of a coral and peach. And I had some more uh, pictures that I colored, glued them in there, because I went crazy with my glue stick. So that's drying. I thought, you know what? I have extra, so I should make, decorate this file folder. Mm-hmm. It's not done. <laughs> This is the background. I've also used washi tape. I've done it on most. You've used added washi tape, different colors, and some paint. So that was drying. And when I was doing my journal, well, I should just do some index cards. So that's where these came from. <laughs> With washi tape and some paint and some distress inks around the side, those ones. Well, I had that teal color. Well, don't want it to go to waste, so let's make some more index card backgrounds. Beautiful, hey? So those are off drying. And I had some other index cards that needed some dots because these ones weren't quite finished. 
so I just added some dots soon these backgrounds will be done but can't let any of that paint go to waste some paper and just an index card still had extra paint and I was working on this file folder added some teal because it need, just needed something this one again is not done it's a work in progress here is my scrap book and I had extra uh, tissue paper when I was doing the uh, file folder so I glued it on here and I added some of that paint and finally, actually not finally, I have a canvas that I have been using to put leftover paint on and make an abstract painting. So here is the rest of that teal. And if that's not bad enough, you have to think, you have to. I've seen some people who are using their baby wipes and keeping them. So <laughs> I'm gonna have so much. Yeah, here's that teal that keeps coming up that I had and the peach color. So squirrel, I get distracted. That's part two of what you can do with your leftovers. Hope you're all having a great day. Thank you for spending your time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I had to come back on. I forgot one. This is in my glue book, my collage one, except it has the peach color or coral. So now I have one, my scrap papers and washi tape in peach and one with the green. I just put a piece of duct tape here. So leftovers part two. See you next time. Bye.